Australia, let's do it. Good morning. It is officially day two of Splendor in the Grass. Day one. Yeah, it got cancelled. Opening day headline acts at Splendour in the Grass cancelled. The rain in New South Wales has washed out day one. Day one called off due to wild weather. We literally <laughs> got to the bus stop and the bus driver pulled up and was like, yeah, they're not letting anybody else into the festival. All of the music's being cancelled, so we just had a chill day. But today, they just posted on their Instagram that the festival is still going ahead. So we're about to leave and catch the bus. I'm lucky running a little bit late, but I want to do a quick little fit check. Kels, tell us what you're wearing. Awesome in Strokes tonight and they're New York City locals so I've got my New York City John Lennon top on. We've got this thrifted jacket from my dad's closet as textiles and just jeans. Yeah, yeah. And then you have your jewelry from Universal. I love that Universal necklace. Store. What are you wearing today? Okay I've got this white corset top from Princess Polly. These striped pants are from Cotton On. Yeah. This denim jacket I think it was like two dollars at a thrift store. There you go. And then I put these little plaits in my hair with these cute little clips. I have these rings from Cotton and I think that's it. I was gonna wear my like. And your glasses. Oh, yeah, and my glasses are from Princess Polly. Mm. I was gonna wear my like furry pink jacket, but I don't want the mud to like completely destroy it because mm -hmm. this is what the festival looks like right now. <laughs> so, anyway, let's go. The mud is so deep. You can't even see our shoes anymore. <laughs> the slower you move through, no, you but want, tell, the I more know. you get stuck onto the surface. We found grass. We've actually found this bit. Where are we now? The amphitheater state? Yeah. Yeah, we're at the amphitheater and it's actually like completely dry and the sun is out and there's grass. Like look at this. There's actually grass. But we just got a drink. We just watched the... Who do we watch? Pup. Yeah, the band Pup. And then we're going to watch the chats here. And then, yeah, I think we have some other people on as well. But the main people we want to see today are the Strokes, really. Yeah. Yeah, the Strokes are headlining today. I'm very excited. Miss Lethal. Mm. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Miss Lethal will play Is Bowen here as well today? Yeah. Woo! But I'm so happy we're here. Okay, we're gonna try and find some food for the next band we go see. Bethany, what did you get? I got this massive cone of chips <laughs> and it has this sun-dried tomato aioli on it. Yeah, from the chippery. From the chippery, it's so good. And the guy put it on, he's like, do you want more? And I was like, I think that's enough. Look how much there is. Good morning, 
morning welcome to day three of splendor in the grass it kind of feels like it should only be day two because day one got cancelled i'm like how is this the last day but i just finished getting ready i think it's like 11 yeah it's 11 35 cal and i are gonna catch the 12 15 bus first band that we want to see today are day glow like i have to see day glow i'm determined to see day glow since we couldn't see wet leg like wet leg and day glow were my two bands where i was like i have to see them but wet leg were performing on friday not going to talk about it but so we're going to catch the bus at 12 15 our other friends have already gone to the festival yesterday was fun but like the end of the night was f like it was f trying to leave the festival was insane like the lines for the buses i didn't want to talk about it i had a really bad panic attack it was fun times hello it is editing me i'm editing this footage like three or four weeks later it's literally august 12th now but i said i didn't want to talk about the bus situation then and i honestly still don't want to talk about it now because it was such a disgusting and just awful experience and something that really could have been prevented but i don't want me not talking about it to take away from how serious it was but the reason i don't want to talk about it is because literally every time I think about it or go to speak about it to anybody I feel sick to my stomach and I feel riddled with anxiety it was just not okay but like I said I don't want me not talking about it to take away from how serious it was so if you do want to know what happened to me I did put up this Instagram story so you can just pause this if you want to read that and if you want to know more about I guess like the whole situation and what happened to individual people you can literally go on Splendor's Instagram and see their posts where they tried to gaslight the entire festival into thinking it wasn't that bad and just read the comments because yeah it was not okay yeah we still made the most of obviously the day and you'll see like upcoming we still had a good time but I refuse to be gaslighted and I refuse to only show you like the positive sides like you can always make something positive out of a situation and make the most of a situation but you can also hold people accountable who should be accountable and speak on situations that could have been prevented okay back to the vlog we're not gonna let that ruin the vibes today's gonna be a good day I just finished getting ready I'm wearing this matching set from Cotton On. I think I've shown it to you guys in a couple of vlogs. And then I just did my hair the exact same. I'm obsessed with doing these plaits and putting these little clips in. And I'm wearing the same jewelry as well. I think this is probably my favorite fit, to be honest. And I'm having a very healthy breakfast of this lemon alcoholic drink. Also, this bum bag has been a game changer. I wish I got one of these earlier in life because not having to carry a bag and just having this on my waist is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Cal, do you want to give them a laying down fit check? <laughs> Cal is wearing the top he was... Okay, is this just everything you were meant to wear on Friday? Yeah, just replay the Friday part. <laughs> Honestly, why not? Anyway, let's go. Okay, we just got in. Update, very muddy. Okay guys, we made it in. We've got 35 minutes to a day go, so we're gonna get a vodka and Red Bull. Let's do it! We love the mud. Woo! So much fun. Funky fresh. Live, love, love. Don't mind us, we're just tuning our instruments, baby. Live music! Guys, this is so crazy. The eyes light up. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Okay, 
Okay, I clearly did not film an outro to this vlog. This vlog really didn't come together. Well, it kind of came together okay. But I thought it was going to be a lot different than what it was. But I also thought my Splendor experience <laughs> was going to be a lot different than what it was. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I feel like Cal and I definitely tried to make the most out of the situation. And I think it's important that no matter what situation you're in, you try and make the most of it. But you also still acknowledge things that are wrong and a lot of things that happened at Splendor and the way they were organized and dealt with were wrong. So I just want to say that I think it's possible to still have a good time and share good experiences that you have while still calling out bad experiences and bad things that shouldn't have happened. I don't know, I have this like weird thing with Splendor in the grass at the moment. Like when someone asks how my experience was, I'm like, good? but also bad. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this vlog. Thank you so much for watching this far. If you've watched this far and you haven't subscribed, I mean like you should probably subscribe because we're basically best friends at this point. Also, if you've watched this far, comment below. I was going to say the mud emoji, but I don't think there is one. Comment the umbrella emoji because Lord knows an umbrella was needed on this weekend. <laughs> but I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye!